guys and welcome back to Classic Airsoft. This is the Umbrella Corporation O1P performance module from Albert Vasquez. So I'm not into computer games, but I know this is from Resident Evil and is biohazard. It's really, really nicely packed in a brushed steel optic package with some Umbrella Corporation symbols, markings, warning signs. So if you see this package, I think it stands for quality. It's one of the nicest Marui packages I've ever seen. So let's get into it. Oh, what we have here. Some stickers with the QR code, a weapons code label. And we have a survival guide. This, this is a hard book, not thin paper. Let's see what's in here. Oh, we have the German manual from the import company. We have some Tokyo Marui shooting targets. We have the original Tokyo Marui M9 warranty card and spare parts list. Then we have the same for our Albert Vasquez module. I think this is this means that not everything is interchangeable spare part wise. Then we have the normal Marui manual for the M9 and M9A1. And then we have our Japanese book about the Albert Vasquez model O1P. I would tell you everything what's inside here, but uh, unfortunately I can't understand what they are written here. I only know this combat side, carbon, steel, slide and stainless, short outer barrel, blah, blah, blah. But I think it's uh, specific things from the computer game. The back side, umbrella, make the world safe with umbrella. Uh, I think better not. They fucked up the whole world if you saw the movie. So here it is, the beauty. For me, one of the fucking nicest M9 pistols I've ever had in my hand. That looks so amazing. So the package is the QR code, the Umbrella Corp 01P, a box <laughs> with 250 grain 9 by 19 but for real, they are not inside. Here are some Tokimarui 0.2 gram 6 mm BBs and the muzzle cap inside. So nothing dangerous. Then we have the normal Tokimarui M9 magazine. This is uh, the same magazine that is delivered by all the other M9s or M92Fs. The old ones, the new ones. These are all interchangeable. Let's take out the beauty. Here it is, the 0.1P. Enjoy the look. Isn't it nice? So what we have here, we have the Tokimori M9 new generation model. So with the um, um, adjustable hop up and in a special Resident Evil slash Biohazard, like it called in Japan. Special edition from the Professor Albert Vasquez. So here we have the umbrella logo in the grip, a blue un umbrella logo. Then we have Umbrella Corporation on the slide, marking wise. And then on the other side, we have as well the umbrella logo and Albert Albert W model 01P or 01P 
And then we have the F mark from the German import company. So we need that to get the gun in country that is that this one is legal. So we have a really nice chrome outer barrel, a shortened outer barrel, a rail underneath, a pick rail. So this is not with one slot, this is with many slots. We have a different hammer, different sides. So what's out of metal here? The trigger, the mug release button, the detachable or the slight detach lever, as well as the button on the other side, the mug catch. Oh, sorry, the mug catch was here, the slide catch. My bad. The ambidextrous safety on both sides. Then the iron sides are out of metal on this particular M9. This lever is out of metal. Then the hammer is out of metal as well. Trigger. Yeah, that's it. Let's take a look inside. For that, push the button here, twist this lever 90 degrees and you can release the slide. Internally, it's like a normal M9. Internally, slide-wise, is as well everything like on the normal M1 from the internals. From the outside, as you can see, it's different, definitely different from a normal A1. So here you have the adjustable hop-up wheel. And like on every Tokimura GBB pistol, you have an outstanding, really, really good working hop-up in here. To put it back together, just slide it on. Push the slide back, flip the lever. That's it. It's back together. So let's see how many FPS we can get out of this baby. For that test, or for that GBB, I only use 144A gas or 134A gas. So the lightest gas you can get because it's a Japan gun. Japanese guns are not made for green gas due to the regulations in Japan. So I use light gas to don't fuck up this nice gun. To load the BBs, just like on every GPP magazine, you can push it from the top or you reach when you have long fingernails. <laughs> With shortened ones, it's quite hard. The lever back down, then you have a bigger cutout and you can just put the BBs in here. I think that's enough for testing. Okay, let's get the chronograph and then chrono the thing. Five rounds, 0 0.2 gram, BBs, 144A gas. 250.7, 244 244.9, 239, 231 FPS. So with 144 A gas, 0.2 gram BBs, we have constantly 0.54 joules. Now I want to show you the shooting from side view. I hope you'd enjoy the video. Thanks for watching and see you next time.